Hey, wrestling fans, East Coast Professional Wrestling, Adrenaline TV, Gino Caruso, Joey G, and what a week we got for you. We're going to get to see the albino gorilla, Anthony Marcos, and much more. But, Joey, the big news. The big news, the heavyweight title is on the line. The match you've all been waiting for, Dan the Man and Kenny Bengal. Fans, let's go right to that action. I am standing with none other than the face of the company, the ECPW Heavyweight Champion. And tonight, Dan the Man, you are wrestling Mr. All Day himself, Kenny Bengal. Is this the end of Team Shazam? Team Shazam is okay. <sighs> Normally, I would come out here and yell and scream about this guy and that. But it's Kenny Bengal. Kenny Bengal, you were the guy to change ECPW. You were the guy, but what did you do? You joined them instead of us. Now tonight, as much as I don't want to, I have to hurt you. I have to cripple you. I have to end you, Kenny Bengal, because I am the face of this company. I'm what's good for business. And I am the longest reigning and defending ECPW heavyweight champion ever. Dan, Dan. Is that a tear in your eye, man? What's up? Yes, there is a tear in my eye, but it's not for me. It's for what we're going to do to Kenny Bangle tonight. Let's take it to the ring. What a main event here tonight. So he's had some really big matches, but what's it going to take to get him to the next level? We said this about many wrestlers, not just him. Well, you know, and we talked about it in the past. We talked about guidance that some of them need. Maybe a Ricky Palmer needs it. Maybe a Marcos needs it. I mean, he's obviously, know. you know, a very talented young athlete. Gino, just think of the guidance that you got when you came up into the wrestling business. Well, I was very lucky, Joey G. There was a lot of great wrestlers that took the time to help me along the way. Superfly Jimmy Snuka, Tito Santana, Hillbilly Cousin Luke, Tony Atlas. I mean, just to name a few. But how about one of your first matches with David San Martino? Who was the one that came over to you and said oh, Bruno you and San David Martin. had the best match Yeah, I mean, Bruno San Martino. So, I mean, you know, when you get that endorsement like that, maybe, oh, well, um, well what's, what's DeVito doing out here? Well, fans, Doug DeVito's out of ringside. Looks like maybe he's, uh, he's 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 scouting. I don't know. Is he looking at who's he here to look at though? It, DeVito here at ringside. I don't understand it. Is he here to scout yeah. Ray Pittman or is he here to scout Anthony Marcos? Is he here? Maybe maybe one of them have a match with one of his guys coming up. We maybe don't know. He's for a day. Well, he's in the wrong spot. <laughs> Whoa, beautiful leapfrog by the big man. Tight waist. I just see how, how very agile. For a, a, what does he go around, 260? Every bit of that. Powerhouse. He is a powerhouse. Well, you know what? Let's be honest, Gino. Look at that nice move there by the young man. Can't get him over. I, I think if my guesstimation, if Doug DeVito's out here scouting two wrestlers, Marcos is the one that usually would fit his bill. Well, you never know. Young Ray Pittman there, the Four. blue chip. He's a phenomenal athlete, great football player, and then well, now trying to make his way in pro wrestling. Well, it also could be that one of these wrestlers may be wrestling Timothy Theory, or Andrew Well, that's, that's what I said and, earlier. Yeah. Maybe he has a contract yeah. to wrestle one of these guys, and so, we don't know. Nice neck breaker there by young Ray Pittman. Well, Joey, I, the DeVito's just out here. He's not himself. He's not screaming and yelling. He's just sitting, No, he's just observing. Standing there and watching. Nice, nice move by Pittman. You know, he can't, he can't. Oh, he broke his own fall and got away and <laughs> elbow across the mic. That takes him head first into the mat. Rolling him over for the pin. One, two. No, not enough. Fans, stay tuned at the end of the program. 
all upcoming wrestling events all over the area for ECPW. We'll tell you the website to get contact to the Wrestling Training Center. Joey, a lot of the young athletes like you're seeing right there, Craig Pittman. Uh, Ray Pittman, rather, has, has gone through the training process. And look, look at the move here. Oh! Beautiful belly oh, to back De suplex. And DeVito De shaking his head, and he liked that move. I'm watching DeVito, too, as well. So you think he's out here for... He's out here for a reason, Gino. Well, he's looking at his watch. Maybe he's got a dinner date coming up. Over at Blue Hawaii's, I don't know. But it's not affecting either one of these gentlemen in the ring because they're not even paying attention. No, they're not. And, and as well, they shouldn't. Oh, look at look at Marco smacking around Pickman. Belly to belly. Wow. To the he just tossed him. Look at the power on this young man. I'll tell you I, what, though, Pittman's got a lot of heart. You got to give him credit. Only his second match here on Adrenaline TV, and you know he's fighting for his life. He wants a win. Marcos wants a win. As DeVito stalks around the ring. Oh, Marcos drives Pittman face down into the mat. Go for the pin, two, no! Oh, Pittman showing heart, determination. Is able to get his shoulder up. As Marcos goes to work on the, on the chin of Pittman, got him in the chin lock. No, referee asks Pittman if he wants to quit, and he says no. Trying fighting to get out of it. DeVito's very quiet, Joey. Just watching the action. And you believe he's here for... for well, uh, well, he's a little closer to the ring right now. Now he's leaning... Got his, on, got on his attention, yeah. yeah. Tell you what, Joey. We, we've seen Marcos. We know what kind of athlete he is. This, this young... Blue chip here, he's, he's fighting back. Oh, nice uppercut by Marcos. Now DeVito backing up. Marcos taken down. That's amazing uh, feat of strength right there. Oh, Pittman is a strong man. Referee telling the fans only two, but Gino, we got that big Heavyweight championship match coming up. So get a big fight field down in that locker room. A lot of tension, Joey. Oh! Tackle, he almost knocked, he almost knocked the teeth out of Marcos. But he didn't take him down. Whoa! Oh, that one, that one did. That's a powerful block right there, Joey. That's a football block. DeVito keeps looking at his watch. Is he timing the match? Is he wanting to see how long this match is? I, I mean, I, I, you know, we don't know, and I don't want to. I'm not going to try and ask Devito what the hell he's doing out here because, well, he's, he's a maniac. You don't, you don't get along with him. I don't get he, along. I don't like him. I don't like his kind. Nice Beautiful suplex. suplex, Joey. I mean, you know, Marcos may be the king of suplexes here in ECPW. He could get it from any angle, any position. He has that power and strength and leverage. It's a backbreaker. Oh, that's, Face that's down. gotta be it. I don't think Pittman's getting up from this one. Davido looks at his watch. And he's leaving. Anthony 
Oh, nice win there, Joey G. But uh, good, good showing by young, uh, and, young and Ray Pittman. And wrestling fans, uh, you know, you might not have seen it, but Doug DeVito was out here the entire match looking at his watch. When the match was over, he looked at his watch, smiled and left. Why, I don't know. Standing with me at this time is none other than Mr. All Day himself with the golden opportunity tonight for the ACPW Heavyweight Championship. You know, I am so excited. I am so excited for tonight because I cannot wait to get my hands on Dana Man and rip that heavyweight championship right from him and put it around my waist because that is exactly what's going to happen tonight. Because I'm going to walk into that ring, and I'm going to beat Dan and Man, and I'm going to leave the new ECPW heavyweight champion. And you can believe that all day. What a main event here tonight. Dan and Man, I'll tell you, I've never seen more hate in his eyes than I've seen tonight. Bengal telling him, bring it, bring it. But you, you, Gino, you know this is two against one. I think Kenny Bengal will and needs to stay focused on the prize at hand. That's going to be difficult when you have the enforcer, Bad News Dillinger, outside the ring. And look at the arrogant. Dan the man makes the referee hold the rope for him. You're right, Joey. There's a lot of hatred there between these oh. two young. I've never seen it. Boy, hate in Dan the man's eyes. Than well, he, he feels that Kenny Bengal has betrayed him. When in fact, it, it was the other way around. The other way around. And you know what? <laughs> maybe Kenny Bengal, maybe oh. Kenny Bengal was getting a little bit more popular than Dan the Man and Team Shazam, and he didn't like it. Very well. You got the TV champ out here, Bad News Dillinger, right? The enforcer. He is the enforcer. I mean. Kenny Bengal can't turn his back on either one of these guys. That's going to be very hard to do. But he has that opportunity, Joey. That belt is there. That's what it's all about, the heavyweight title. He's Oops. touched it for luck. Referee holding up the belt. The very prestigious ECBW heavyweight title. Dan the man, one of the greats, Joey. But every, everyone has an end point. The longest reigning heavyweight champion in ECPW history. Is tonight the end point for Dan the man? It's possible. Oh, look at Dillinger uh, right off the okay. back. Okay, all right. Ah, it's all, here we go. That's all it took. That's it. That's all it took. You knew, it. no, right here. Oh, right out on. in front of our desk. This. What's going on? And there into the guardrail. I mean, Dan. Is this Dan's plan? Well, I told you Dan the man has more hate in his eyes, and it's in another guardrail. Is this his plan to maybe get counted out? To maybe not have to worry about in the ring to lose the belt? He's smart, Joey. Oh, he is. Now he throws oh, him over the no. guardrail. And it's on the opposite side of the arena, Gino Caruso. Oh, come on. What's he doing? He's gone berserk. This referee's being very lenient with this, Joey. Well, Dan the man coming into the ring. Is he is that what his, his game plan is to get Kenny Bengal counted out? Maybe that is it. No, Dan the man going back after him again, Gino. He don't want to get Bengal counted out. He wants to punish him. I, I think maybe Dan the man's hatred 
has got the best of him here, and he's lost his cool. Yep, that may work to Kenny Bengals' advantage. Well, it doesn't look like it's working to his advantage right no, now. He's taking no. a beating. Both men back in the ring. Finally, referee's able to get some order restored. Oh, Bengals fired out of that. Up and over to the outside. Oh! Danny Man thought he had an edge. Kenny Bengal with an over and under and a drop kick. Catches Dan the Man across the forehead. I feel it tonight, Joey. I just, I believe tonight is Kenny Bengal's night. I think we will see a new heavyweight champion crown tonight. That's how I feel. I see the look in his eyes when he was in that locker room. He said, Gino, he looked at me, big smile, and all he said was all day. Wow. He has confidence. He believes he could beat Dan the Man. Nice move by Kenny Bengal to save himself, but Dan the Man, again. Uh, watch master. it, watch it. Dillinger on the outside. <laughs> oh, Gino, see? How? Dan the Man keeping a referee occupied while Dillinger is beating the heck out of Kenny Bengal. You know, again, you said it, Joey, it's never gonna be a one-on-one. -on -one. No. There's always gonna be two-on-one, -on -one, and those are odds, I don't care how good of a wrestler you are, very tough to overcome. Yeah, uh, Dillinger holding his arms in the air, like I didn't do nothing. Yeah, well, we say this many times, Dan the man's a manipulator. He knows how to manipulate that referee. Bulldog, Joey, that Dan's on fire now. A kick to the head, and he's going for a pin. He's got the momentum. He has the upper hand because of the numbers game. Uh, you, got, you got Dillinger outside the ring. You got Dan the man inside the ring. The odds are against Bengal right now. But even so, Joey, I still believe in Kenny. I still think he has. Well, Gino, you've uh, you picked a lot of winners in your lifetime, called a lot of matches. You may be right. Dan the Man's just got not only to worry about Kenny Bengal, but Whoa. he's got to maintain his cool. That was only a two, but it was very close. Well, fans yelling that was three, but it wasn't three. Uh, They want to see a new champion, they Joey. Want, and they want to see Kenny Bengal as the new champ. They hate Dan the Man. It's 2019, it's a new beginning, a new year. Kenny Bengal bringing home that title would mean so much to these fans. But it's not gonna be easy. No. I mean, we know that. No, look at, look at, look at Dan. Kenny's not gonna quit. You know, Kenny learned from Dan the man. He knows all of Dan's tricks. Well, you know that, and that's, uh, it, these wrestlers know each other so well. Kenny fighting back. Fire it up. Oh, chops, punches. Ken, will tonight be the night, Joey? Oh, but a, look at Dan the man. You know, Only a two count. He's champion for a reason, Joe. Champion for a reason. Look at him, he's surprised that he didn't get the three count. Look at those eyes. This is what I said before, Dan the man's losing his cool. He's letting this whole situation with Kenny get to him. Well, Kenny Bengal's gonna have to get up, Gino. Uh, 
There's a sign there. Oh, here we go. Look oh, at this, Gino. You can't do that. The referee, no, he can't allow that. Pepino could barely reach it. He got it out of his hands. He could kill him right now for that. But I think he wants to see a match just like everybody else, Joey. Angelo Johns told him, you're going to call this a fair match, but let them fight. Referee getting that chair away from what the, the man. What the referee should do is force Dillinger to the back. I agree with you. Uh-oh, Bengals fired up. This may be it, Joey. That may be the opening that Bengal needed. He's trying to measure him for something. He's measuring him. This could be it, Joey. We may see a new champion. Oh! Will we have it? This could be it. You could be right, Gino. Oh. That was so close. Will tonight be the night, folks? Kenny Bengal has worked so hard, so hard, Joey. And this match will continue, won't it? We have been told by the stations that we're going to film this in, in entirety. Bengal is fired up. I've never seen him so animated, so excited. I believe he's one more move away from being a champion. And this could be it. Oh! Reversal by Dan the Man. You can never count Dan the Man out. He's champion for a reason, Joey. Don't you yell for Dan to get over there and pin him. He may have him, Gino. Oh. How close could these two get? It's back and forth matchup, Joey. Kenny trying to fire himself up. Dillinger's beside himself on the outside. Oh, double Naganok, they're both out. Referee's checking on Dan, the man. Say Pepino's doing a fine job refereeing this heavyweight title. I give him a lot of credit, this referee is really serious about this match. We want to see an outcome, fans. We want to see the best man win. I believe Kenny Bengal has it, everything that it takes to be the champion. He, he's now they're, com they're coming up together. Punch by Dan the Man lands. Bengal lands one of his own. Now they're in center ring, laying punch for punch, shall oh. we? And Dan the Man, and then Kenny catches Dan the Man. This is becoming a slugfest. Double chop. Oh! Caught him right across the face with that one. Oh, Dan the man throwing a flurry of punches and Bengal may be going down, Gino. It looks that way, Joey. Dan the man has some, oh! Oh, he hit the referee! He hit the referee. Referee is oh, down. Pepino took a fall there. I mean, Pepino's not the biggest guy in the world, but I, and it, you shouldn't put your hands on the referee. But what is he saying? No disqualification? No, he's going to let it go. Oh. oh! How much can he let go, Gino? How much can he let go? Well, he let both guys push him down. But Pino's uh, he's a tough little competitor in his own right, Joey. But these two have left it all out in the ring, Joey. They're emptying the tanks right now. They're in, they're in reserve. And both throwing wild punches at each other. Referee trying to break it oh! up. Oh! He's down again. That's got to be it. He cannot allow that to happen anymore. He is. You think, you think Angelo John told his referee that he wanted to see an outcome tonight? That, yeah, that's the, they got to ring the down. bell now. That's that's out of hand. Referee's not calling for the bell, though. Ring that bell. Now he is. How much? Wait. 
check on two. Guys, enough. Enough. That's enough. Guys, cut this out. I've had about enough. What's Angelo John's doing here? Ed Dillinger in the ring now. What is with everybody doing what they want to do? Another championship match. Woo! I've had enough of this. This no. No. Here's what we're gonna do. Everybody, calm down. There has to be a winner. Here's what we're gonna do. Our next show, February 8th. There will be a rematch. This will not happen. No. This will not happen like this. Absolutely. We have to. A rematch, absolutely. No, there will no, be a rematch no, for your heavyweight championship. And here's what we're gonna do, Dan, because I had enough of this. This is what we're gonna do. There's gonna be a special guest referee. And, and this guy, let me tell you something. If you put your hands on him, It'd be the worst thing you guys ever have done in your career of wrestling. And he's behind the stage. Ooh, ooh, he stays ooh. back in the locker room. Is it Orlock? No, Please, Orlock. let it be Orlock. Yeah, let it be. Oh. No, no, Give no, me no, the no. vampire. It's going to be me. What? Oh. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the special guest referee. And it will not end in a disqualification. I give you my word. We will have a champion crown the right way next time we return.